The weather has been exciting, not only because it has felt cold and windy for so many of us on the coast and anywhere near the bay, but because we got some light rain this morning, about a hundredth of an inch of rain, light showers, mainly because the marine layer got so deep it actually sprinkled and drizzled. But there are more exciting kinds of rain to talk about. We're not looking at it here. That's the view from the top of the sails for Sarah Looking East. Here's the view coming in across the Golden Gate Bridge and in the Tri-Valley right now. While you did start gray and you stayed gray for a good part of the day, you're at least getting some breaks of blue sky. But the real excitement is all the lightning on high def Doppler right now and how close this is. We've already seen a good band of thunderstorms move across 101 right through Yokaya. And in fact, if we come in for a close up look at that, I wanna take that and play this back just to watch that last hour and a half or so of the rain that worked its way over 101 and is now out over the hills through the west part of Mendocino County. The next band we need to watch is over here. And as we come back home for a closer view, the showers that are in the northern Sierra right now are gonna get wrapped back around our way. And there's a pretty good shot here that by the time we get into midnight, there's another little band of isolated showers that march their way across Sonoma County from midnight and then maybe another band tries to come in through parts of Contra Costa and Alameda County. It's an outside chance that it actually plays out the way it just looked on that forecast model, but that's one of the higher resolution models we have and we're not looking that far out. So there's a good reason to at least give it some credence that we could see a few more of these showers get worked back in to the Bay Area. But by far, the better chance for rain in the overnight hours tonight is gonna to be the marine layer again out here off the coast and these hundredths of an inch readings of rain. That's probably the likeliest way this comes together and it'll be just like Saturday morning. We woke up this morning and things are pretty damp. If you were near the coast or in the immediate bay or in the East Bay Hills, that probably happens again on Sunday. Morning lows tomorrow bring us back down into the low 50s for most spots. Daytime highs will come back up into the mid 70s. That will be a little warmer tomorrow because we're going to get more sunshine and tomorrow we're going to round the corner and start clearing out what's left from this system and there will be a gradual warm up. You'll see it in the seven day forecast as the numbers start to climb a bit. As we get into Tuesday, we're already near 80 for inland spots. There's no other opportunities for rain on here. It was really just this morning, again, tomorrow morning, and yes, that possibility in the overnight hours for a few isolated showers to get pulled into Sonoma County. And, and, and that's about it. Things will get back to quiet and normal after that.